Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to show you today how you can use PHP Storm without a mouse. So, let's get into it. So, every IDE will have its own shortcuts and stuff. I'm going to use PHP Storm because I think it's the best IDE around. And uh, I hope this will help you guys to improve your workflow. Okay. So, before I get into the commands, there's one plugin that I encourage you to get and it's called Key Promoter X. So if you open up the settings, Control, Alt and S, if you hold Control, Alt and press S, it's gonna open up your settings page. When you're on this settings page, go to plugins, browse repositories, and then type in Key Promoter, whoops. And you want Key Promoter X, all right? Not the old one, the new one. So get Key Promoter X. What it's gonna do is, it's gonna notice when you're clicking on things, and if there is a keyboard shortcut it'll tell you what that is so you don't have to remember everything I'm telling you now you just download that and when you start messing up and you start using your mouse too much it'll tell you hey buddy you can use this command you know instead so once you've got key promoter X it'll make life way easier now that that's out of the way let's get cracking okay so we're on a file here this is base.blade.php let's say I want to open up another file okay I'm gonna double tap shift and it's going to open up this box here where I can search everywhere. So let's say I want to open up my landing page. I'm going to start typing in landing. And there you go, landing.blade.php. So then I can press enter to open the file. Cool. Let's say I want to look through these other files that I've got open, right? There's four of them on my tab. I can hold alt. I just hold alt and I tap left. And there I go and right and now I'm going to the right so this is a fast way for you to cycle through all the files that you have currently open okay what's another way another way is to hold control and press E if you hold control and press E it's gonna just list all your most recently opened files so this is a really good way to get back to the last file that you had opened all right I use a control E all the time and and that's what I do control E control E bang and then once again Alt left or Alt right to just cycle through. All right, now let's say you want to open up a directory and you want to browse through a directory. Once again, there's two ways to do this. If you know the directory you want to go to, just double tap Shift again, and it's going to again open up this Search Everywhere box. And when it's open, start typing the name of your folder. So I'm going to start opening the public folder. All right, so I'm going to type in P U, and then as we can see. The first two things are not folders, they're files, but underneath that are the folders, all right? So this way I can then go down and select it. And then it's going to open it up here on the project menu on the left. I'm going to tap Alt 1 to close it really quickly, and I'm going to show you a faster way to do that. So you double tap Shift, you start typing PU, and then you just press the forward slash. And when you press the forward slash, it's going to look specifically for folder names that have those letters. All right? So this way, you don't have to even use your mouse to cycle down to get there. You can just do it straight away. So PU forward slash bang. And now that I'm in here, I'm going to use the down arrow to cycle through, right? I can open up the CSS folder. I can open up the style sheet, whatever. Now, once again, Alt-1 to close, Alt-1 to open. All right, this is a very long file, so let's switch to something else. Okay, now, let's say you want to open up the terminal so you can launch your server, for instance. You hold Alt and press F12. Alt F12 will open up your terminal, and then Alt F12 again will close it. Now, if F12, if Alt F12 doesn't work for you, it's probably because you've got the GeForce Experience installed. So what you need to do is go into your GeForce Experience, go into your settings, and change your your keyboard shortcut because they assign Alt F12 to a certain function. I can't remember what it is. So if you're if you're tapping Alt F12 and it's not working, there's probably another program that's utilizing that shortcut. So change it. Okay. So that's basically how you can maneuver through file structures really quickly, right? It's that easy. You can either tap Alt-1 to just open up your whole project folder there and then start cycling through, and then Alt-1 again to close, or you can just double tap Shift, start typing the, num the name of your folder, and then press the forward slash button, and it will show you those folders. All right, now let's talk about what you can do when you're actually within a file. All right, I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite little tricks on here. It's the best thing ever. To do that, let's make a quick div. 
active class example. Oh, whoops, sorry. Okay, so you've got a div, okay? Let's say you want to wrap this div in another one. What's the fastest way to do that? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is select this whole div. There is a few ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the quickest one. You hold Control and tap W, and then tap W again. Bang. That's it. Once it's done, you're going to press Control and Alt, hold them both down, and then press J. And then you're going to come up with this little option. You're going to have three of them. Hit the first one. It says surround with a tag. Press enter. And now simply start typing. What, what, what is it? So, okay, this is going to be another div class. And let's call it container. Boom. That's it. It's that easy. So this way you don't need to use your mouse. You don't need to highlight it. Nothing like that, okay? All right, now let's quickly. I'm holding control, by the way, now to just quickly move to the end of this div here. I'm going to tap enter. All right, so now we've got a div in a div. Let's say you want to move this inside div outside. You can also do this really quickly. All you need to do is have your mouse, is, is have your cursor there on the left side of the div. Hold control and shift. And once you've hold them both down, press down. Now it's gone on the outside. Now it's back in. Now it's above. So by holding control and shift and then tapping up or down, you'll move the element that you're highlighting within the file structure. So this makes it really easy for you to do that. Wonderful, right? Once again, control W to select everything and then I can move it around. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoy some of these commands. Uh, it makes it way faster when developing. And uh, any time that you spend away from the mouse is time that you spend coding and making more money. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys soon.